Hey everybody, this is Malia Araya and welcome to Tall Woman Power and my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, and as I say on my TikTok, I am a 6'6 woman and I'm an expert at being tall. So today, what I wanted to kind of touch upon is um, the concept of body and spirit positivity and why I think being positive, being body positive can only occur if you're incorporating spirit positivity. Um, I know I've written about this before, maybe on my Instagram, but I've never really fully explained it yet. So I'm a body and spirit positive coach and I do plan on inspiring millions of people someday. And I'm just starting now with this, with what I have built so far. So <laughs> thank you so much for showing your support and watching my channel. Okay, so body and spirit positivity. Well, first of all, the first time I heard body positivity, I want to say it was about, I want to say it was like three to four years ago. I had no idea that world existed. I knew that there were plus size models um, because uh, back in 2015, 2014, I was going to sign as a plus size model. And if you can see me, I am not plus size at all with what's considered plus size now I am completely void of any of those those brackets and modeling um which which really really you know t to this day it kind of um frustrates me a little bit because we're tall women um are being excluded from modeling just because our height is seen as uh weird distracting, awkward, um, what other words to have people use? Uncomfortable, because we're women. Awkward on set. I've been told, um, when I lived in New York City, I, instead of going into modeling, I, cause it just didn't, it didn't sit right with me how, it didn't, didn't feel right. The world of uh, professional, the modeling industry just didn't feel right. So instead I act, actually went into acting um, and then I realized, okay, acting is gonna be better for me because I feel like that's where I fit in. I'm a little bit weird. I'm not, I don't really like the idea of having a, an industry tell me that I need to look a certain way or have this kind of body type. Like if I want to eat a freaking brownie and I know there's a lot of models who can eat whatever they want and do whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then there's also a ton more models who are starving themselves, who are literally putting their bodies at risk, killing themselves to, to be on the, to be in a magazine, taking photos of a fucking flowery blouse for a living and that's not a lifestyle that is not anything to want to emulate um and so that's a tangent but i went into acting literally like the very same day i said no to my modeling contract offer i was like the same for me lady thank you though um i was walking through the subway and i met a well-known actor and he was he just kind of made me believe in myself in terms of acting so i kind of explored that um it just, it fits me way more. I'm an actress. Okay, so body positivity wasn't really around back then, um, back in 2000, for me at least. I've never, I never even heard that term until like 2017, maybe 2016, but it really started taking shape and like kind of making more sense because I'm a six six woman. I'm not stickly skinny. I'm, I'm kind of average. Like my body's kind of average. I can be real. Like I'm not like I don't have a tiny waist I don't have a round rumper I'm not trying to get bigger boobs like I'm pretty cool with what I look like in my body um so I'm not you know I don't still don't fit into the the modeling world as much as other people do um but what really stuck out to me was I decided to go on a journey of self-love and kind of unpro deprogramming my mind from all the bullshit of my youth, which if you happen to talk to tall women and have a conversation with them, they're gonna tell you similar things that I'm gonna share. 
And what I'm going to share, what I'm doing now is just sharing my perspective on my experiences. And I guarantee you, so many women have these experiences and so many men have these experiences too. And we're not even going to go into the queer community. Um, I'm queer and I felt, I feel like I was, my queer journey was so overshadowed by my tall woman journey and becoming in power that I never really had that desire when I was younger to just come out. I literally, not a thought in my head was like, I need to come out, I'm gonna come out. I I don't even really know what that concept is because I, I just accepted that. That was like a non-issue, non-factor for me, even though I was super religious at one point and I, I do see that there's a lot of homophobia out there. Um, that was just not a non-factor. That was such a non-factor to me in my life. Um, because being a tall woman in a society where women's bodies are constantly picked at and chopped and screwed and kind of plastered all over the media as if we're supposed to look like the Kardashians. No offense, Kardashians, you do you. But it's not the healthiest image of being woman because we don't even have to do anything. And I love that about TikTok because there are so many beautiful women that are just like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna be me. And if you wanna troll me, you can troll me. You don't like me, you don't like me. And that is a shift that I didn't see when I was, I wish I, I wish that was, was available when I was in high school. Could you imagine? The movie Tall Girl coming out when I was in high school, that would have changed everything because I had these desires to be in the entertainment and modeling industry back in high school, but I believed, I believed that I was ugly. I believed that I was disgusting and gross because then I put all my self-worth into what other people were thinking. And especially when you're young and you're wanting to attract a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever, and nobody's asking you out, the, the, the people that you do ask out, they're just like, no, you're too tall. Like I really thought that I was a fucking circus freak for so long because people treated me like I didn't deserve love. And that's a whole nother issue within itself. You know, the concept of love and um, the fact that unconditional love is very rare. We see it with animals. That's why dogs are so amazing. Cats, mostly with dogs. Like the best examples are with dogs because they will just love you and love you, love you, love you. Um, and animals in general. But the concept of unconditional love is a whole nother topic. I'm, I will get into that. I might film it after this. Um, I don't believe that the world is capable of unconditional love at this time because we don't even, we're, we, we rely too much on what the media and the culture of Hollywood tells us what love is and that's ridiculous like that's that's horrible you know that you you're capable of love loving unconditionally the first time you fall in love with somebody and you, because you're asking yourself you're like why do i love this person they're nothing like super fucking special like no offense but they're nothing special or you're nothing, like this is what you think. Like, oh, they're nothing special. It doesn't even logically make any sense. But I still fucking love them for no reason. It's like when you're with your family um, and you just love your parents or you just love your brothers and sisters for no reason. That is an energy of unconditional love and that is available within us all the time. We just rely too much on what the media wants us to feel because they have built such a system that incorporates colors, shapes, numbers, visual stimulations to try to program you into believing that you need to buy this or buy that or do this or do that or chop your body up to look a certain way in order to attract the person of your dreams. 
when that's all that's I call bullshit like I call bullshit on all that and that's why body positivity changed my life because I realized that being a tall woman is not just being a tall woman and being a gazelle like Amazonian figure it is embodying a goddess energy to which is available to all women or feminine energies that that is the that is the energy to embody and if you're a man embody the god energy and realize that you create things no we don't control this everything and that's the point it's like learning how to be confident in who we are as a human fucking being because we are here with a purpose we're here not not on accident there is no accident that i'm here sitting in front of this camera and you're listening right now this message universe has a message for you right now you are god or you are goddess and that energy is gonna rise up and life will never be the same once you realize who you are done old all the haters done they won't even get to you toxic relationships toxic people people that want to keep in old patterns keep dragging you into old patterns that they only they can only emulate because that's that is not your journey that is their journey you gotta protect your spirit because that is a very important part of body positivity that i don't hear enough people talking about the journey of body positivity starts within. It starts within. It starts inside. Deprogramming yourself, maybe reprogramming yourself with affirmations, saying things like, it sounds really corny, trust me. It sounds super corny. I have to burp, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, affirmations like, I am beautiful. I am worthy. I have what it takes. I allow and receive love. I give love freely. I am overflowing with abundance. I am healthy. Health is coming to me now. Like those kind of affirmations. Um, and that reminds me, I'm going to need to start saying more of those because there's a lot of, there's a lot of fear energies going on. Um, cause there's a lot of things in this world that they don't want. There's a lot of energies in this world that don't want us don't want you to succeed they don't want you to know this information because why would why would a whole industry built on getting people to believe that they're not worthy so that they buy these things in order to feel beautiful and feel worthy why would now why would that industry want you to know that you are already beautiful and perfect mm, yeah so that's where that's that's the important part of body and spirit positivity. You know, working on your your spirit first. And whatever that means to you, some people are religious, some people pray to gods or goddesses, some people bow in temples, some people are non-religious at all, and some people are atheists, some people believe in there's all kinds of religions, all kinds of spiritualities that you could believe in. And you can even make your own spirituality up. We're, the world is limitless. This whole, this whole display, this whole movie that's going on, it's just a movie. You can turn it off. You don't have to watch the news or TV. You don't have to participate. You could still be an actor and not watch TV. At least that's what I think. And a lot of people think that um, you can still create, but you don't got to partake in, in the, the toxic things. You could still be and do what you want without engaging in the toxic parts of that. There's always the toxic parts and there's always the positive parts, the light parts. Um, so, yeah. And then once you start working with your spirit first, then you could put the focus. You'll notice that when you start working with your spiritual self, your spirit is your, your, your heart, your soul, your mind, your mental capacity, like your mental, um, I, <laughs> your mental. So 
Um, something that I could recommend for y'all to read is, or look up or look into is the law, the laws of the universe. And the most famous one is, is you probably know it, the law of attraction, but oh my goodness, I was deep into the law of attraction because I watched the secret. It changed my life. Honestly, that's why I moved to New York. It literally changed my life like overnight after I watched it. And then I started meeting all these interesting people. I won't go into those stories right now. But for years, I believe there was only that one. And then someone mentioned, I think it was on a YouTube channel. They're like, you don't know about the other laws. Like there are other laws of the universe that are affecting us, whether we want to believe that or not. And that is up for you to individually reflect on and kind of see the world around you and how things are working. And now we have power. <laughs> we do have power. Um, so then once you start working your spiritual side, your spirit, your spirit body, um, your physical body will change. Your physical, out, your outlook on your physical, physicality will literally change. It will become much lighter. You'll believe in yourself. And then you just stop giving a fuck what anybody says. So if you want to gain weight, gain weight. You don't want to gain weight, don't gain weight. Lose weight. Whatever you want to do in a healthy manner, not in an obsessive way where you're trying to keep up with standards that are just ridiculous, where all these people are chopping ribs out and trying to be like, stop. Can we stop? There is more than one way to be a beautiful woman and it doesn't require me to get butt implants and breast implants and ripping out parts of my body that are sacred. Like, come on, society. But yeah, so I hope that this video is kind of informing to you um, about my roles and my mission of pushing um, body and spirit positivity. Start with the spirit and body positivity will naturally grow because you can't have... <laughs> okay, so everything in the inside manifests on the outside. So you can't have a negative self-worth and think that you're going to attract the things that you really deserve. You're going to, if you have a low self-esteem, you're going to attract those situations that reflect back to you, your low self-esteem, you know, but thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to subscribe, subscribe, and, um, you can find me on TikTok, tall woman power. You can find me on Instagram, tall woman power, Malia Raya and other outlets. Just hit the website down below. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day or night.